type of machine and uh, out of this type of machine using ePlan's API be able to actually generate my schematics exactly the way I want. So for instance you could have here in your configuration uh, some groups, some general options uh, using a specific type A, type P machine. You could have different options on or off. Now depending on how you actually set it up these could be conditional options as you can see here using just regular ePlan uh, formulas. It's, it's very simple actually to, to build it to whatever needs you need. And in the backbone, what we're basically uh, using is the technology of the ePlan macro. Uh, as you know, ePlan is a software that allows us to do electrical schematics and uh, using typical circuits such as some power supply, specific type of motors, motor A, motor B, uh, type A control, type B control. You can basically place them one by one and ePlan will take care of the rest and uh, eventually you would be one of those customers that could say we are 250 percent faster or 40 percent faster to time to market. That means that you need less time to actually build your documentation. Let me show you a little bit how this works. So uh, in this case here, coming back to my configurator, I have on the backbone an API called the uh, Schematic Generator. Uh, schematic Generator is a tool that we uh, put together here that basically places, instead of the uh, user, it places the macros automatically. So technically we have here a series of macros, you can see type A, type B, that either comes in when the result is a V, it places it uh, vertically, and if there's an exclamation mark, it just simply doesn't come in. So depending on what you do on the configuration side, you can call in a certain macro or not. And uh, <coughs> the uh, ESGX, as we call it, the ePlan Schematic Generator API, uh, looks uh, very simple. It's just a very small interface like this where you can specify where your SWIC circuits are. Uh, located in terms of files, ePlan macros, what file you want and you just hit the button generate and it will technically go through this Excel sheet and just call up each individual macro and fill out the template that you have pre-configured here and uh, ePlan templates as you know pre-configure what type of um, uh, form you'll be using for a bill of material, what kind of symbols you'll be using, what kind of device tag numbering you'll be using and still, the fact that we actually generate an ePlan file, uh, we have the possibility to modify this uh, as, as we wish. So if we have specific requests from the end customer, we can apply it. Here we can say we're, we are generating page one, two, three, four. It's very quick. If you have some errors in your Excel sheet, we actually tell you what the errors are. And here's, for instance, an example of a type A machine that I generated and a type B machine that I did generate. Let's take a look. This was generated previously with a few different pages. And I'm going to open here the other one, which is the type B that we just configured. And we'll actually take a look at these two machines. Um, as you can see in here is my macro project. Uh, selecting the macro project, I will simply close it down here as we come along. So let's take this. Let's close it down. And we have these two uh, projects, type A, type B. Uh, in both cases, if I open type B motor, you can see here on the right-hand side that we have one, two, three motors. On the type B, we actually have a different configuration. If I go to my controls, type A here, I have a certain type. I go to the next one, I have a certain type, again, that is called up, depending on with more or less options, right? Now, what is nice about this is, of course, when I generated this um, initially, I may have picked up a very specific uh, wire tag from the original sample. I can take this and reconfigure the wires to whatever the customer needs. So if the customer has here a custom way of doing his wire numbers, as an example here, I'm going to create a custom scheme. And in this custom scheme, I will actually uh, readjust the uh, wire numbering format. Uh, the ones that are connected to a PLC, I will actually put in front of this a W uh, to represent this as a wire. 
So if I say in front of it, I just have to move it up. And I will at the same time renumber the terminals if any terminals are coming along. Now for the uh, other wires uh, that are just general power wires, I'm going to put a P in front of these wires, right? And this P goes in the front here. So let's see if this works. Uh, let's remember at the same time also the terminals, why not? So this is the small checkbox we have here. So this custom configuration is now available and I could actually share it with other projects if I need to, if this may repeat. So in this particular case, you can see here all the P's that got added. And if I go to some controls where we will see some inputs or outputs, in this particular case here, we have a W that was added. If it's a power wire, we get a P. So this is done automatically. Now, of course, the last step before we actually release this document, and this is really the power of ePlan, in one single click, you can generate a terminal diagram, a connection list, a wire list, a terminal diagram, uh, a, a bill of material. Let's start with a bill of material. Here is a bill of material that got generated automatically out of what we have here. The wire list, wire list of all the wires that are actually in this particular project. So if you actually zoom in, you will see every one of these wires either with a P or a W as it was requested initially. I can generate terminal diagrams. I can generate 35 different types of reports to help my manufacturing team actually build this system. And at the end of the day, I can even do better than this. I can share it with my customers by generating a smart PDF. Check out our website on uh, eplan.ca. Uh, you will actually see uh, what I'm talking about. Uh, you can find it also on the other websites of ePlan. Uh, come and see it and uh, ask for a demonstration of how this could help you. And uh, as I said, based on a configurator that is completely customizable in Excel, I can generate different types of machines and schematics.